Well, I'm sorry. What are, where are your hands? Here, mine are. I know what you're thinking, but I must be firm. I told him I do not dance in movies. Yeah. So they signed Barishnikov to the part. Mikhail Barishnikov? No, my tailor, Irving Barishnikov. Who else is in it, really? And Bancroft, and of course you. It's perfect. It goes right after the tour. Turning point. This looks interesting. Hey, but do me a favor. Don't analyze it. Just read it. Can you read lips, Mort? That's physically impossible. Hey, listen, McLean. I don't go running off to Europe once a month. I mean, what do you do over there anyway? I go to Switzerland for hormone therapy. I know how to make a hormone. How? Oh. Be nice to her. Oh, Mort, I really love your feminist humor. Yeah, well, I'd stick around and tell you a few more, but I got a girl double park. <laughs> Hello. I thought it was you. The on and off again painter, New York Art Gallery, right? David Manning. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Any messages for me? Okay. So what are you doing here? Oh, I was over here at this gallery, and they told me that you were over here rehearsing. Yeah, I'm getting ready to do my tour. So, is the painting on again? Well, how'd you like to come over and uh, see some of my work? Photos of Peru? Okay. I'll be done in about an hour. Great. And uh, maybe after that, you and I could go get some deep. Well, okay. I can have two beans on a leaf. I'm in training. <laughs> well, I'm not. Okay. You know these faces. In some way, they don't look Peruvian. You know, they look Tibetan with the high cheekbones and those black almond eyes and the black braids, don't you think? Yeah, well, there's a theory that these mountain people were actually from the Himalayas in Tibet. That they walked across Siberia, across the Bering Straits, came down through North America, and uh, eventually settled in South America, in the Andes, which are in Peru. Oh, that was a long walk, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you study anthropology or something? No, I just read a lot. Want to get something to eat now? Yeah, but tell me something first. When you photograph cultures like this, do you tend to see the beauty or the poverty? Oh, well, as an artist, I see the beauty. As a human being, I recognize the poverty, but as a, as a spiritual being, I think everything is happening just as it should. What do you mean? I mean that we are mind, body, and spirit, and that you have to feed all three. I mean that I'm hungry. Let's go. thought about what David had said. Everything was happening just as it should. What would Jerry say to that? And what did that say about our relationship? Hi, did I miss any messages? Okay. Thanks. Ella, it's you. What kind of a greeting is that? I'm sorry. How are you? 
I can hear it in your voice. He still hasn't called. No, he hasn't. Why don't you call him? Because I don't want to. He's dealing with hypocrisy, guilt, and deceit. Sounds like a Washington lobbyist. Stella. Well, you know how I feel, darling. Nobody's good enough for you. When do you go on tour? First of next month. How are you feeling? Surprisingly okay. Okay, that's all I called for. Thanks, Stella. I love you. I love you. Hello? Hello up there! Hi. Me again. You want to go for a walk? Okay. You hungry? Always. Okay, I'll just change and I'll bring you some. Oh, hi, how are you? Good. Good. You? Okay. On a peach? Oh, peaches. Goody. You need any cream? <laughs> Come on, let's walk. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Been out here since sunrise. It's so beautiful. It is. It really is. So, how's your painting coming? Great. Valerie's going to do a show for me. Oh, yeah? It turns out I went to art school with the owner. <laughs> oh, that's a lucky accident. Well, I don't believe in accidents. Everything. Happens like it should. Why do you always say things like that, like there are no accidents? There aren't. Like that. Like what? Like those three stones you have around your neck. Where'd you get them? They're from a Maasai chieftain I knew in East Africa. Yeah, yeah, I know, but how'd you get them? Do you remember? Of course I remember. It was about 10 years ago. Some young guy with long hair and a beard came to my door. He said that the Maasai chieftain had asked him to deliver them to me, so he did. I like the way I had them mounted, don't you? See, that's hell. That's wisdom. And that's security, I know. How do you know? Because I brought them. What? I was the young guy with the long hair and the beard that brought them to you. I was on photographic safari in Kenya. I ran into this uh, Maasai chieftain. And he thought that because I was an American that I'd know you. And he gave me those stones. So when I came back to California, I looked up your address and I dropped them off. You were the guy who gave me these? I was the guy. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, there's a lot of stuff I haven't told you. Oh, really? Like what? Like, there's a purpose in everything. Why do you say those things? What does that mean? Because it's true. What? You take this beach, for instance. Its purpose is to go zinging into the sea. It's just making a complete mess out of me. No matter. Come on, let's just walk. Just walk. We spent the whole day together. There was a lot David wasn't telling me, but in other things, he was very open. I found myself telling him things I rarely told anybody and asking for his opinion. When you've been around as long as I have, but you start asking yourself, what's it all about? And I don't do it out of any unhappiness or anything like that. I mean, I've got problems and complications, but that's not what I mean. Well, I always found that happiness is right in your own backyard, to quote Dot from The Wizard of Oz. You're a big help. My own backyard is the Pacific Ocean. Exactly. What is that supposed to mean? It means that everything that you want to know is right inside of you. You are the Pacific Ocean. You are the universe. That sounds so hokey, so California. I am the universe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that once you understand the life you lead and the lives you've led are connected to God, you'll no longer feel that something is missing. Did I hear you say the other lives I've led? What, past lives? You ever heard of the Bodhi Tree Bookstore? No. Well, it's on Melrose Avenue. Why don't you meet me there tomorrow afternoon? I got a few things I want to show you. <laughs> Reincarnation. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 David! <laughs> I can't believe the last time you saw him. Hi, girls. They were another life. <laughs> Good life. 
You've never really been in love with anybody. Yeah, I was once when I lost her. Man, it was sort of a strange experience. Tell me. I'll tell you about it some other time. What are, where are your hands? Here, mine are... Very busy. It's a hit. 